In today's video, we're going to discuss how a beer can solar heater works. Now, the one we're looking at here is a prototype that I made just to decide if I wanted to make a bigger one. I'm thinking about making one big enough to put in the side of my house. So I wanted to do a prototype. This is a 15 can heater, three cans horizontally, five cans vertically. So my results with this little heater were very promising, enough so that I'm going to make a bigger one. Um, and what I wanted to do for my beer can solar heater is make one that we can actually set in a window. Um, uh, I'm probably going to make one large enough to put on the house, but uh, as I say, the results of this were, were good, but I want to make a bigger one, probably twice as big as this. So here's the logic to what happens here. We have our beer cans. Each can here at the end is silicone together. So here we have this can, silicone to that one, to this one. Each can is, uh, has an opening. We uh, increase the opening on either side. Uh, not fully, we don't cut the top off all together, the top and the bottom. We want to kind of make air slow, move slowly through here enough that it heats up as it goes through. Now when you, when you look, uh, there's a lot of really good uh, videos on YouTube about these solar heaters. And what you'll see a lot of times is much bigger ones, say 80 cans or so, and they're just going vertically. But because this is a smaller one, what I wanted to do was force the air to go through more of the cans before it actually exits. And in this case, our exit is up here. Our air exits up this way, and our air enters over here. You can see a little electric motor I got here that uh, I was ex experimenting with just to increase the flow through the heater. We'll talk about that. There's going to be another video where I'm going to talk about uh, solar heaters, or sorry, solar panels, because a buddy of mine at work uh, had also discovered he's going to make one and he discovered that uh, some of these are set up with little solar panels that run little motors to blow air through. And that's what we're going to do when I make the, uh, there's going to be a series of video videos and I'm going to go step by step through to make the exact one that uh, that I'm going to make that's larger than this. But anyway what happens here is the air comes into the bottom. As you can see the cans are painted black so on a sunny day they really absorb the heat. The air in this case is blown through by our, our little motor and just incidentally I've actually had pretty good results with this even when, the, when there is no uh, fan blowing air through. C convection in itself will, will cause a lot of air to flow through. So what happens here is the air blows through here. Up through here you can see my little divider that forces the air to go back in through these cans. Exit out here. There's another divider up here. This is all enclosed, silicon and everything. So when the air comes in here it has to go through these cans and continue its way up like so and by the time it exits out here it's gone through 15 uh, beer cans. Um, on this particular one I made I just had the ends sealed here because the cans themselves are sealed. Each one of these three cans is one sealed pipe basically. Uh, the one we're gonna make is most likely going to have a piece of plastic over the whole front and enclose the whole thing. And that's what you're going to see on the uh, beer can solar heaters that are made uh, for outside. Which, because logically if they're outside the house, you don't want these being exposed to general debris and that kind of thing. But for, our, for my purposes, I didn't have a big piece of plexiglass to cover this over. And uh, incidentally, we're not going to use plexiglass. I found out it's expensive. We're, our idea is to save money here, not to spend a whole lot. So what I did though anyway, just to seal this up so that when the earth went through the cans, cut a couple of small pieces of plastic, silicone them, them there. Each one of these cans is sealed at the end down here so that the air has to flow this way. Um, I want to make a real simple one that's easy for any do-it-yourself type person. Uh, that's why what I ended up, what I did here was I made this from the bottom of a beer, beer cooler, styrofoam cooler. I thought that's great. We're not going to have to really use a whole lot of tools. Um, 
problem was it actually, as I say, I want to make a bigger one and styrofoam coolers only get so big. So we're going to, this is a prototype. We're going to make a different one. We're going to use some equipment that we'll talk about in another video. On the beer can solar heater that we are going to make step by step in the upcoming videos, we're going to use a little uh, DC fan like this one here. Uh, this one I paid $5 for. It's I think it's rated for 10 volts, uh, 0.5 of an amp. This is not an exact science here. Uh, the only reason I bought this one is there's a, a store here in Canada where you can get um, surplus type parts. They happen to have this in stock. It was on the shelf, $5. It was nice and cheap, so I thought that's fine. Uh, as I say, you can use, it doesn't have to be a 10 volt uh, rated uh, fan, just a little DC fan to blow air through. Um, if, if, for instance, now we're going to use a 9 volt battery, which we're going to be running it off solar panels, but just for, just to show you, a little 9 volt battery here. Uh, we're going to, we stick that on there. There goes our fan. That runs it really nice. But we want our solar panels because just even from experimenting with to see what kind of heat results I got out of this, I found you can choose through these little batteries pretty quick. So I stuck a little bit of paper towel on the output of our beer can solar heater here. Just to illustrate this fact, we'll go down to where our fan is. I'm going to hold the battery on there. And you can see the paper towel doing a little dance in there just simply because the air is blowing through our 15 cans and through our output there. And here's the solar panels we're going to use. Again, I bought these at the same surplus store. Uh, Five dollars seemed to be the number of the day. Five dollars I paid each for these in Canada. But there was a tag on them where they had come from another store and I think it would set about 12 or 13 dollars so I thought I'm not gonna uh, waste these panels on our little prototype unit here we're gonna use these on the larger one that uh, that we're gonna build these again doesn't have to be exact um, but they're rated for uh, 9 volts 167 milliamps so in the case of this particular fan that we're gonna be running that fan is a 10 volt and uh, rated for 0.5 an amp so roughly if I use about three or four of these panels I should get enough power out of them to run the fan and I think as I mentioned before if we don't get uh, the exact amount that it's that the fan is rated for not a problem it's just not going to rotate quite as fast so that's it for this video I just wanted to do a little bit of a preliminary in case somebody wants to uh, do the upcoming project that we're going to do and build this so you can start uh, saving your beer cans or pop cans apparently pop cans will work also I personally prefer beer cans but uh, start uh, saving your cans maybe keep your eye out for a deal on some solar panels and uh, as I say we're going to make a, there'll be a whole series of videos and we're going to make a larger version of this one.